As we know, Azure AI comes up with a lot of services. And in this video, we are going to focus on Azure AI language. So we can use Azure AI language for different kind of tasks. We can use it to extract information, summarize text, classify text. We can use it for question answering, understand conversations, and also to translate text. In this video, we are primarily going to focus on this extract information part. And under this also, our primary focus is going to be on the PII and PHI detection. How we can detect all the sensitive information and how we can mask it so that it doesn't get exposed to end users. So we can get the pricing information from this particular link. We are here in the pricing page and it also comes up with the free tier, which basically we are going to use in this particular use case. And it comes with all of the features which we have just covered. And you could see how much data we can process over here. You can also select a specific reason. If your service is going to deploy in some other reason, then you can select it from here. And then you can see the updated pricing. But yeah, these are going to be instances. You are going to have a free and then you are going to have a standard and you are going to have the corresponding prices over here. So what could be included in the PII information? So PII detection feature can identify, categorize and redact sensitive information in unstructured text. So your sensitive information could be your phone number, email address and other forms of identifications. Similarly, PHI is going to be for your sensitive health records. Those also can be masked using this particular feature. So the next thing is how that information is going to look like. So suppose if you're passing an information like this, and in this case, what could be the PIA information? So it could be your name and it could be the number because this is a phone number. Once you pass it to Azure AI language and ask it to mask the information, then output is going to come like this, where we are going to call this particular text as a redact text because all the sensitive information has been masked using this particular character so now your final output is going to be something like this as of now the latest and stable version is going to be this api version 2023-0401 and that's what we are going to use in our code but in future there is going to be this api version which is also available in the preview form but the important feature which is going to be in introduced in this particular api version is going to be redact policy now you can use it whether you want to redact your text or not so if you select do not redact then it's not going to redact your text Text. This is also going to come with this mask with character. You could see like we are getting this particular character, but you can also select your character, like how you want the mask information to come in the output. So instead of this particular star sign, you can also select probably dollar or some other sign and your sensitive information is going to be masked accordingly. Also, maybe in some of the cases, you do not want all these characters to be there. You want some kind of entity to be there just to represent, okay, what exactly was there and what exactly was mask so that is also going to be available using this mask with entity type in this case what is happening john doe is a person so it is coming as a person one received a call and this is a phone number so the output is going to be phone number underscore one this particular redact policy is going to give you a lot of flexibility to control your mask information and how you want your output to be reflected as of now this is also available in the api form you just have to pass your endpoint language at the end you have to pass this api version and once you have it then we can use it in the api form and, and we can play around with this just to get the feeling okay how it works here we do have one example where you could see we do have input this is in the api format so what is the kind like what is that are we going to do with this so this is pii entity recognition model version is the latest and then pii categories so we can also define the specific pii categories and then we do have just this document where we do have this text and this text is having like some sensitive information like as you can see we do have name then we do have phone number then here you could see the redact policy which we are defining so under this reduction policy we are just passing policy kind mass with character and we have also defined the reduction character which is going to be star here you can pass any other character and the sensitive information is going to be masked accordingly you could see there are other options also which you can pass mass with character or mass with entity or do not redact Once 
once you pass it so the output is going to look like this you could see in the document here the name got masked why only name got masking and not the numbers or this email because we have especially asked it to only consider person so we can also get that kind of flexibility whether you know we may not want to mask all the sensitive information so we can identify in the whole unstructured text what exactly we need to focus on and then the output is going to come accordingly so in this case it's just saying okay it has identified that entity as a person this is john doe offset what is its length and the confidence score of it so 98 percent is confident okay this particular name is a person and that's how it has redacted it so this was one example but in this video we are going to focus on the python sdk and how we can leverage it to mask the information so first of all we have to go to our azure portal and we have to deploy a language service so i will just click on azure ai services and under this we do have this language service here i will just create language you could see these are the default features which we are going to get and in this case i am just going to select this one because we are focusing on the pii and phi i will just click on continue to create resource here i have to provide my resource group so i need to create a new one because i don't have anything existing click on this then i have to give a name to the service oh, what i can say azure language vcs 3006 and then the pricing tier so in this case we are going to go with this free one and there is a standard one also you do have to pay for this particular tier i'm just going to select this free one new storage account and it's saying like what should be the name so i would just say azure language services 3006 storage account type i will probably just go ahead with the standard one and i will just select on this i will just click on review and create and now it's asking me to create it now i will wait for this service to be deployed first we can go to this azure ai service then we can go to language service and now you could see our service has been deployed over here this is coming with the free tier the, we are just going to click on this just to retrieve the details so this is going to be our endpoint and then if you have to get a keys then we can get it from here so our base has been set up let's go to our visual studio and try to write code for the same i'm going to use a github copilot so first thing i'm going to initiate is this azure annotation if you don't know then we have already covered a video where actually we have covered how to install this azure notation and how to work with this if you are doing anything specific to azure then i would recommend to use this particular annotation and then you could see we do have several models and this is the free version so you can use any of the models from here here i'm just going to go ahead with cloud 3.5 sonnet and i'm just going to ask it i need to mask sensitive information from the given unstructured raw text please write code using azure ai language to mask the sensitive information and let's wait for the code to be generated okay so the base code has been generated what i can do is i can just apply this in editor and i can select my current python code and it has been applied over here also before actually running this code we have to make Make sure we do have the packages installed what i can ask over here how can i install azure ai language now for this particular use case as you can see like we have to install this particular package azure ai text analytics and that we can just insert it directly into terminal as you can see like it has been added over here it's already installed in my case you could see the requirement is already satisfied now actually we can go over this code here you could see the first thing it's doing is importing this text analytics package and after that we are just passing text analytics client and under this text analytics client we have to pass our endpoint and credentials and this endpoint is going to come from here so what exactly we are going to do is create an environment file and i can just say language endpoint and language key and because we are placing everything into environment file then i can just import the package and then we can use it to get the endpoint and the key instead of passing this i just need to retrieve this name and which is going to be language key whatever i have defined and for the endpoint also it's going to be os get env and language endpoint which we have just put it in the environment file now we just have to place the values i'm going to go to my azure portal and from here i could see the endpoint i can just take it from here and then i can put a key so key i can get it from here keys and endpoint i can just copy it key one and then again 
place it over here now i do have endpoint i do have key and then actually we are passing all this into this text analytics client and once we have this client created then we are using it to recognize the pii entity so in this case you could see this particular method is taking the document and then under this recognize pii entities method there are several options so the document should be list of a string then we do have the categories filter this categories filter would help you if you want to focus on some specific entity rather than masking all sensitive information in your text then we do have this domain filter the model version and language and these are the main parameters of this particular method so first we are going to get started with the very basic one where we are just going to pass the document the language is going to be english and then what we are saying because the document is going to be list so for document in response if there is no error in the document then we just have to take it and we have to redact the text once text has been redacted we are just going to put it into this mass document list now because we are using the default api version so the text is going to be redacted only with the start sign and that is going to come in the output so let's see in this case as you can see my phone number is this and my email is this so let me go ahead and try to run this code and you could see this particular text has been redacted here the phone number is this and the email is this and both sensitive information has been redacted so let's see like if you want to focus on some specific information then we can just pass categories filter so i can just say categories filter before applying this filter we just have to understand okay what kind of entity we can pass it over here so we can just go to this particular method and here you could see the categories filter right so we are just going to click on this pi entity category and under this then category you could see okay how many information can be passed over here so we do have a lot of information so all this can be masked we cannot pass just random value in the entity we we just have to pass is whatever is available over here you could see actually there are a lot of information related to tax bank national id identity card social security number and everything passport number all this information is going to get masked at the bottom you could see there is email age phone numbers if i want the phone number only to get masked so i have to take this particular phone number from here and i can go over here and i can pass phone number and i can go ahead and rerun the code and now you could see only the phone number has got in mask and not the email id so that's how actually you can also control it what kind of entity you want it to mask but just make sure the entity what you are passing it should belong to the given list now on top of this if you want to enable the phi flag then you have to pass domain filter again we can get it from this particular method only again if you go over here and if you go to this pii entity category then you could see at the top we do have this class this is a pii domain and here you could see okay there is a specific filter for phi information which could be enabled like this what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply another filter which is going to be domain filter and under this i can just pass the phi now using this particular filter we can mask the phi information as well as of now i'm just trying to run it on this particular text only so you could see the output is same what we have got on phi so let me try with another mock message i have removed the filter of entity there now this is a message where it's saying james a 45 year old male is presented with chest pain and shortness of breath and there is some clinical information about this particular patient where we do have the pcp name and we do have the hospital where he is getting treatment so let me just go ahead and try to run it with the phi flag and you could see the name has been redacted the age has been redacted and his pcp information has been redacted and his current doctor information has also been redacted so if you have like any phi text you can also try to enable this flag and you could see the output what you are going to get if you want you can also try it with the pii and you can compare the results so this is how actually we can use azure ai language to redact our text and there are multiple options as we have seen so you can definitely try it for your application that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching